Combining forensic science with microplastics allowed us to harness maybe two of the best parts of forensic science for the purposes of analysing these samples. Firstly, we were able to uh, understand better any contaminants that might end up in the samples from the analysis and we're able to monitor those and remove those from the counts. But we also used polarised light microscopy in addition to Raman spectroscopy to fully analyse and characterise the samples. So we not only have polymer type but also information about the morphology and its optical properties as well. We analysed samples from four different media. In all those samples, more or less, we found a presence of microplastics and to be more specific, the most abundant was uh, fibrous polyesters that are considered to be used mostly by the textile um, industry. The backcast modelling done by our South African colleagues showed that the microplastics in the air were highly likely to have come from South America. This is a really significant result for us because there's a theory that the, the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the ACC, is thought to isolate the Antarctic region, including the Weddell Sea, from, from the, the remainder of the Southern Ocean. And it was always thought that this would stop plastic from crossing that barrier. Um, we have now shown that it actually has crossed, and it's entering into this uh, pristine environment, where, for all we know, it could just end up staying forever. So the CI samples were a surprise, and this is because um, in comparison with the other three media, the concentration was really high. That made us have a lot of talks about it because CI is mobile. So then as it drifts around in the ocean, is it actually gathering as a sponge, like kind of absorbing what's in the environment, or is something else going on? So um, as always in science, more research needs to be done. The Global Plastics Treaty is incredibly important because we've shown yet again the microplastics are a transboundary issue. So it is only for us coming together as a global community can we really solve this challenging issue.